Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create a random text string. So let's say, for example, you're an admin somewhere and you need to create some random text strings to make some uh, initial passwords for people or you wanted to create an initial password for yourself. You can do that with Excel to kind of generate your own passwords, which include uppercase, lowercase, a number, or special characters. Now, if I press the F9 key or delete, I can re-engage this password creation, right? So it's actually fairly easy to do. And the reason why we can do it is we can use some of the ASCII characters within Excel, and that's using the char function. So let's go into sheet two and I'll show you what that means. Now there is a function in Excel that takes numbers, the ASCII numbers from 65 to 90, those are gonna be the capital letters, 26 capital letters. And from 97 to 122, that's gonna be the lowercase letters. And any special characters that we can put up here are from 33 to 47. There are the special characters here like the bang or exclamation mark or double quotes, pound sign. They're from 33 to 47. So how do we build this into something where we can incorporate into a text string? Well, let's just kind of do what we did earlier here with the table here. We can just do it this way. And I'm just gonna type type. And I'll just put character here. Or I'll just make that capital character. And the type, I wanna do this is uppercase. And this is lowercase. These are numbers. This is special, right? And now we can incorporate using two specific functions. One is going to be a random number generator and the other one is using the char symbols, right? So this is the char symbol. This brings back the 65, that's gonna be an A2. So the character 65, the way Excel sees that is it's gonna be the capital A, right? So the same thing for uh, 97, which is uh, lowercase a, and etc. So for the uppercase, all I need to do is create a random number generator, right? We want to have something random between 65 and 90. So I just put 65, comma 90. Close parentheses. So if I press the F9 key, it's going to regenerate a random number, right? Between 65 and 90. Now I want to wrap this within the char function. So I'm going to type char, open parentheses, and close parentheses. So anytime that random number gets generated here, it's gonna put it into the char function and give me a uppercase number. So if I press the F9 key a couple of times, you'll notice I'll have different uppercase numbers. So here I'll just type equals char, I'll press tab, the open parentheses, random number, double click that. And the random number I want is the, the bottom number is going to be 97, the top number is going to be 122, right? So it's going to be 97, comma, 122, two closing parentheses, press enter, and now I have my random number, or my random number that's generated, put it into the char function for a lowercase letter. So if I press the F9 key, you'll notice that now it gets regenerated. For a number, that's actually quite easy. All I need to do is do a random between 0 and 9. Oops, 0 and 9. Close parentheses, press enter. If I press the delete key, that also gets randomly generated. So the special, same thing. I do char, tab to open parentheses. My number is gonna be the random number generator. Double click that, and it's gonna be 33 to 47. Close parentheses, enter. Whoops, yeah, I did. I forgot to put that in that closing parentheses. And Excel's kind enough to say, okay, you need to put that in. So now if I press the F9 key, you notice they all kind of change. So here I'm just gonna put random text, right? Let me double click to the auto fit. And for the random text, I wanna make probably eight characters. And maybe if my first character has to be an uppercase letter and anything else is just random. I can type equals concatenate. And what this does is it just joins uh, things together. So I'll do double click that to auto complete that. I want to have the first character be an uppercase character. And then comma, I can just select any one of these now. Uh, comma, and that, comma. Maybe I want to get another lowercase, comma, and maybe a special character, comma, and maybe another uppercase, comma. And then text seven, 
uh, let's see, maybe another number, comma, and for text eight, I'll have maybe another lowercase. Close parentheses, and I've got my eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press enter, and let's double click this auto fit. Anytime I press the F9 key, it's gonna automatically generate a random text string. So this is very useful if you have to make a bunch of passwords for people or you just want to generate some kind of text string from one character <laughs> to multiple characters for your own purposes. So that's how you can create a random text string generator. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.